Juneteenth is a popular celebration of freedom. And it begins in Texas. In 1863, a proclamation went forth, and we call that the Emancipation Proclamation. It wasn't until June 19th, 1865, that the people in Galveston, Texas, were informed about the proclamation. It wasn't until a year later, 1866, that the very first June 19th, Juneteenth celebration took place. And what is it about? The freedom of Africans. So imagine the excitement. Imagine the euphoria about hearing finally slavery was no more and they were indeed free. That's the story behind Juneteenth. Oftentimes, storytelling is a vital important of the Juneteenth celebrations wherever you are. Stories that are told in the form of song, in dance, in the music, in the drums, and whatever, the story must go forth about the history of enslaved people and their final emancipation. A celebration of freedom, but also for some people now, it's a celebration of family. People are not getting together and they're reflecting and thinking about and enjoying one, one another on that day. Juneteenth is a part of the tapestry of holidays. It gives us an opportunity to recognize, to tell the story, and to celebrate the history of African Americans. I've been blessed to be uh, born and raised in this area right here. And in this place called Savannah, Georgia. So I grew up in, again, this melange, this gumbo of history and culture. We pride ourselves on our various cultural celebrations right here. We're now seeing the entire country now go and immerse itself with regards to Juneteenth. I think education is key. You need, you can't celebrate what you don't know. So read up on it, Google it, you'll find out the history and you'll find out different perspectives about the history. You'll find out about um, different celebrations that are going on all over the country. Ask some questions of people who do know. And then once you know, you can go celebrate. Go to a celebration, go to an event, go to some of them and just enjoy 